accident. Children back in school, although some areas, including a playground near the accident, are still off limits. Residents filed into supermarkets and shops just reopened. But major concerns linger about the long-term effects of the radiation leak. It's been reported that most residents in the immediate vicinity were not detected to have received radiation, but gamma and neutron radiation is not detectable after the fact. And so the damage to their, to their bodies and to their genes, so to their future generations of offspring, only time will tell if they will suffer diseases or birth defects in the future. The accident happened when workers at a uranium plant overloaded a tank with seven times the normal amount of nuclear material. Japan's prime minister is calling those workers unbelievably careless. Back here in Northern California, from a thick black plume to a light brown fog, a noticeable color change this morning in the smoke rising from that huge Central Valley tire fire. All this after crews began dousing the blaze with foam Friday. The fire has burned more than 10, for more than 10 days near the town of Wesley. The original idea was to let it burn, but now a hotshot team from Texas is trying to put it out. New Center 4's Joe Oliver has the story. Volunteers from the Patterson Fire Department helped spray the foam in hopes of dousing the oil fire, sending black smoke towards their homes. With an excavator, they're creating small check dams to hold the oil, and then they're applying foam from the access road to the oil. It's fairly close. It's still a very hazardous operation, though. The Williams Fire and Hazard Company boasts a 100% success rate putting out fires, including tire fires. The Texas crew brought in a patented foam made specifically for smothering hydrocarbon fuel fires such as the pyrolytic oil fires burning beneath the tire crust. But can they successfully put out the source of the oil, the burning wall of tires lining the canyon? So the foam works very good on a two-dimensional surface. Whereas if you look across the canyon and you have a big hill, it's going to take a lot of foam, and you're not even sure if you can get foam to that particular area because it's a very steep drop of a canyon. And that's where all the oil's coming from. That's where all the oil's coming from. It's coming down the canyon, and it's pulling up, and it's burning. Even if they can only douse the oil fires, it would go a long way towards eliminating the black smoke that has Caltrans warning motorists on nearby Interstate 5 to keep their windows closed. We've had a health advisory out since last Wednesday. Actually, over a week ago, we put the advisory out. If you see smoke or haze in your neighborhood, you should stay indoors with your doors and your windows closed. Joe Oliver, New Center 4. Now, the company trying to smother the blaze, Williams Fire and Hazard Control of Texas, has a patented foam that's made especially for hydrocarbon fires like that tire fire. Now, while they are making progress, there's still no estimate on when that fire will be out. In San Francisco, no word yet on what caused some new lofts to go up in flames Friday morning. Arson investigators still collecting the data. The fire started in a four-story building still under construction south of Market. No one was hurt, and the blaze never spread to neighboring structures on 11th or Harrison Streets. In Southern California, firefighters have nearly surrounded a wildfire in Corona. Now, that's destroyed a $400,000 home and, several, and threatened several others. Since the fire is almost contained, evacuation orders have been canceled. So far, the fire has consumed about 450 acres. In the Los Padres National Forest, animals are helping with a major firefighting effort. Mules are hauling in food, tents, and firefighting equipment to help crews battle the flames. Firefighters are working in a wilderness where there are no roads, only trails suitable for hikers and mules. And it's too smoky for helicopters to land, so the mules are being a big help. Mm. Good grief. Charlie <laughs> Brown, Linus, Snoopy, and Lucy throwing a party today. Yeah, the Peanuts comic strip this morning enters its 50th year in the funny pages. Creator Charles Schultz still draws 365 Whoa. comic strips a year from his California studio. The 76-year-old says that when he dies, the Peanuts crowd will die with him. Oh, no, mm. it will live on in oh, wonderful yeah. memory All and movies reruns. and everything mm -hmm. else. Oh. Still ahead on Saturday Daybreak, how are parents and teachers letting boys down? The author of Real Boys is here to tell us what's going wrong and how to do better. And this is Sarah. Sarah is just a little nervous about being really? live on television. Fortunately, Samantha's here. Samantha is an animal away. communicator who's going to help keep Sarah calm walk. and tell us how you can use this kind of advice. That's Bye, good. Sarah. Sarah, Bye, here. Sarah. That's yeah. coming up. Should be an Good exciting girl. segment. Don't now go just away. Stay and look at the camera. Good girl.
You oh, did yourself. Glad you like it. Wait till you see this. You're going to love it. Summer 98. Rancho Donata, Northern California. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, see? That's the entrance. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, is that That's guy... us the opening mixer. It's kind of a beach volleyball thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just got out of the water. It was, it was just a little cold, you know. <laughs> Today on IHOP Reveal, what the four IHOP syrups really think. Blueberry's pretty much the best syrup. Good on everything. I've been on your table for, what, since you've been born? I noticed a lot of girls go for the butter pecan. Whichever syrup you believe, try it on IHOP Cinnamon Swirl French Toast. A cinnamon roll dipped in French toast batter and grilled golden brown with eggs, bacon or sausage and hash browns for this great price. Next time, Strawberry Reveals, why any time's a good time for IHOP. Where's everyone going? Out to enjoy California. You can too. There's still time to lease a 1999 four-wheel drive Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Now for only $2.99 a month during model year-end clearance. It's the best deal ever on Grand Cherokee Laredo. Hurry though, at $2.99 they won't last. And when the 99s are gone, so is the deal. So pick your favorite Grand Cherokee Laredo. Once everyone's in agreement, head to your California Jeep dealer. Who else? Is Patsy Ramsey another Jekyll and Hyde? What could have transformed her from loving mom into John Benet's killer? What fury raged behind her ever-present smile? And how did Patsy's madness go undetected until it was too late? In a story you won't see anywhere else, the hidden mental disorder that could turn a loving mother into a deranged killer is finally revealed. Get the details in this week's issue and take a fresh look at the new Inquirer, the best-selling newspaper in America. So uh, this is Samantha Curry, and uh, this is an elephant at the San Diego Zoo. And uh, this is Samantha Curry weaking, uh, working <laughs> with a horse at Belmont Racetrack. Samantha Curry is an animal, do you call yourself an animal therapist, an animal communicator? Animal 